So we'll just make that change.
The following is a reflection on St. Joseph's docility to the Holy Spirit taken from the consecration to St. Joseph by Father Donald Calloway. The Holy Spirit wants you to know and love St. Joseph. With the exception of Our Lady's life, the Holy Spirit was more active in the life of St. Joseph than in any other saint. The earthly father of Jesus never did anything without seeking the direction of the Holy Spirit. St. Joseph's docility to the Holy Spirit made it possible for him to communicate with God even while he slept. St. Joseph wants you and I to be docile to the direction of the Holy Spirit so that you and I can be led in the ways of holiness. What is holiness? Is it some unattainable spiritual summit you can never hope to reach? No, it is not. Holiness is living in imitation and loving communion with God. More specifically, holiness is observing the two great commandments of love, love of God and love of neighbor avoiding sin, leading a life of virtue, and abiding in sanctifying grace. None of this is possible without the Holy Spirit. Wherever St. Joseph is present, the Holy Spirit is also present. And St. Joseph would tell you that if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, there is only one absolutely necessary thing, prayer. Without prayer, you will never be able to have intimacy with God. Without prayer, you will not be able to follow the direction of the Holy Spirit. To be holy, you need to imitate St. Joseph. You need to maintain a heart aflame with love of God, love of neighbor, through committing to a devout interior life. Don't panic after reading this. You don't have to become a monk or a nun. Holiness is for everyone. Yet, no matter what your vocation in life, holiness is only attained by those who pray and have an active interior life, ignited and sustained by the sacraments, fueled by prayer and a life of charity. St. Joseph is a model for the interior life for all his children. St. Joseph, yet not a priest, is holier than all priests including the patron saint of parish priests, St. John Vianney. After Jesus and Mary, St. Joseph is the holiest, most prayerful, and most virtuous person who has ever lived. He avoided anything and everything that displeased the Holy Spirit. How did he do it? Prayer. Through prayer, St. Joseph perfected and exercised the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, as well as the moral virtues of prudence, temperance, justice, and fortitude. There has never been another quite like St. Joseph, and there never will be. You can become another Joseph in the world, you can become an apparition of Joseph for others. If you imitate St. Joseph's dedication to prayer and the interior life, you can resemble your spiritual father. Consecration to St. Joseph will increase the Holy Spirit in your life. Through consecration to St. Joseph, the Holy Spirit will recognize St. Joseph in you and pour extraordinary graces into your heart, mind, and soul. You can be a saint. 
asks the Holy Spirit to make you into another Joseph. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you with graces similar to those he gave to the patronal heart of St. Joseph. Please join me as we pray the five glorious mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary. Blessed William Joseph Chaminade said, A servant of Mary will have a tender devotion to St. Joseph, and by his pious homage and respect and love will endeavor to merit the protection of this great saint. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. For the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase in the virtue of faith, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For an increase in the virtue of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For an increase in the virtue of love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Oh, my dear Father St. Joseph, I want to love you with the love that Mary has for you. In the first glorious mystery, we meditate upon the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, give us our sins. Ave, Ave, Ave. Since God has wanted to obey you, St. Joseph, allow me to be in your service, to honor you and to love you as my Lord and Master. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those who have most need for that. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. How I love to call St. Joseph the patriarch of Christians and of God's elect. In the third glorious mystery, we meditate upon the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Ave, Ave, Ave. Consider how hard St. Joseph must have prayed to come to know an ever-increasing love towards his immaculate wife, the ever-Virgin Mary. In the fourth glorious mystery, we meditate upon the assumption of our Blessed Mother, body and soul, to the glories of heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. (laughs) 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave To you, O blessed Saint Joseph, we come in our trials, and having asked the help of your most holy spouse, the Virgin Mary, we confidently ask your patronage. In the fifth glorious mystery, we meditate upon the crowning of our blessed Mother, Queen of Heaven and Queen of Earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially sins. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, o loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries, the most holy rosary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Saint Joseph illustrious son of David, light of patriarchs, spouse of the mother of God, chaste guardian of the virgin, foster father of the son of God, watchful defender of Christ, head of the holy family, Joseph most just, Joseph most chaste, Joseph most prudent, Joseph most valiant, 
Joseph most obedient, Joseph most faithful, mirror of patience, lover of poverty, model of workmen, example to parents, guardian of virgins, pillar of families, solace of the afflicted, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of the church, lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. He made him Lord over his house. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your ineffable providence, you chose St. Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beseech you, that we may have him for an intercessor in heaven, as we venerate him as our protector on earth, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The prayer to St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, we come in our trials, and having asked the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently ask your patronage also. Through that sacred bond of charity which had united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the fatherly love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities by your power and strength. O most provident guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Most beloved Father, dispel the evil falsehood and sin. Our most mighty protector, graciously assist us from heaven in our struggle with the powers of darkness. And just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of her enemies and from all adversity. Shield each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your help, we may be able to live a virtuous life, to die a holy death, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen.
Please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
We welcome you to the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist. We also welcome our listeners and viewers who are joining us today via Catholic Radio for Acadiana, 90.5 and 99.5 FM and 1230 AM, or live stream. Today we will celebrate the Feast of St. Blaise. A blessing of the throats will take place at both this Mass as well as the 5.30 p.m. Mass. Today we will also celebrate the votive Mass of St. Joseph. Our celebrant for today's Mass is Father Chester Arsenault. Please stand as we begin today's liturgy. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to all my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. What I have done and what I have failed you to do through my thought, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in expressible providence were pleased to chose St. Joseph as the spouse of the most holy mother of your son, grant we pray that we, who revere him as our protector on earth, may be worthy of his heavenly intercession through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me, and your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, Forever will I confirm your posterity, posterity and establish your throne for all generations. He shall say of me, You are my father, 
my God, the rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The Word of the Lord. be with you. A reading the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph and the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, But before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwillingly to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention. When, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary your wife into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Good afternoon. It's so good to see so many of you at church. Uh, Welcome any visitors who might be visiting with us uh, this afternoon, as well as our viewers who are live streaming and those who are listening to us through Catholic Radio. Within the Diocese of Lafayette, this is the year of St. Joseph, Bishop Desertel designated it as a year for us to focus on the life of St. Joseph uh, as the patron saint of the Holy Family and for us to pray for our families, especially those families that might be struggling in our world today and in our own communities. So today, in a very special way, we lift up all families and we remember 
the mystery that we are called to live through as a family. And I share a little bit with that with you on God's choosing of the house of David. He promised King David that his kingdom would reign. And from the house of David came the humble man of Joseph. But if we ever listen to the genealogy of Jesus from the house of David, we know that that genealogy was filled with difficult situations of sin and distress and separation. And I think when David was called forth and the Lord God chose him, it was to help the rest of us who would one day contemplate on the coming of the Son of Man and God choosing of David and Joseph to be the caretaker of his sacred temple, especially the child Jesus, the incarnate word, that we could see how imperfect life can be filled with sin and stresses and separation, and we could have faith and trust in the midst of mystery and uncertainty. If you look at Joseph himself, can you imagine this humble man chosen by God? And yet his heart filled with anticipation for his betrothed Mary was given a different mission. I want you to be the caretaker of the incarnate word, the Son of God. His intention to have his betrothed Mary totally changed in the way he was hoping to be with her. But he surrendered his will to the will of God. How we see today this man was unwilling to allow Mary to suffer because she was with child. What confusion it might have brought in his own mind, in his own heart, betrothed to beloved Mary, but yet he allowed the Holy Spirit to move him to righteousness for the good of Mary. And when the angel appeared to him in a dream, this disordered path became ordered in one way, where he surrendered and trusted and moved forward. Sometimes in the midst of the mysteries that you and I have to encounter in our own sufferings of our family life, It's important that we realize that the answer might not be immediately. That answer might come through months and years of prayer, surrendering and trusting. There was a mother that came to visit me a couple of years ago. Her son was truly struggling with a drug addiction. and He had stolen and over and over again they would take him in. And uh, he would continue to betray their trust. He was addicted to the point where he was not even conscious to the hurt that he was bringing to his family life. And she asked me, what can I do? I have done everything. And I simply said, place a St. Joseph medal and prayer card underneath his pillow. I said, place it underneath the mattress, place it in his pocket, put it wherever you think he might be. Well, that's what my parents used to do to me, especially when I was struggling. They gave me St. Joseph the medal to carry and pray for. Little did I think, even as a priest, from that action, something powerful would happen. One day, in the midst of a drug choice that he was making, it became very dangerous and his life was almost taken. And as he stoops underneath, under a house, hiding for his life, he pulls out that St. Joseph prayer. And that moment was his moment of conversion. And he has been on the path for the last two years. See, my brothers and sisters, blind faith, coincidence, mystery, what is it? But it was that hour that the Lord worked in his heart in fear and potentially death that gave him the ability to rise. Like St. Joseph rose to an occasion of saying, Yes, Lord, 
Give me the strength. Give me the ability to trust. You have entrusted your Son and Our Lady to me. Show me the way. See, sometimes that way is not clear. Sometimes it's confusing. Sometimes that way is the way of suffering where we are called to carry the cross, but that cross is not in vain. But when we walk in faith and we receive in faith, then we are filled in faith of what we need for that moment. Maybe not the whole experience of grace and peace, but for that moment, we have what we need, and the Lord carries us. St. Joseph, patron of families, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I invite you to please stand as we offer our prayers and our intentions. For the Holy Church of God, may she be filled with the spirit of fortitude as she suffers for the faith throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all peoples of the world, may they live in unity and peace with one another, free from violence and hate. We pray to the Lord. For all who are oppressed by temptations and snares of the devil, may the Lord grant them freedom and peace. We pray to the Lord. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our humble prayer as we turn to you and place our hope and trust in you. Give us the ability to rise and to surrender and to trust in your holy will as we place our heart before your divine presence. For you live and reign forever and ever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we make with exaltation, O Lord, be pleasing to you, our God, for you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the Lamb for the life of the world as a lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, in honoring St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, 
Dominions, adores, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and douglas our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters and who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints, St. Blaise, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please note, those of you who desire to receive communion on the tongue, please proceed to the front center communion aisle. Thank you.
Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example of the intercession of St. Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries, served you as man just and obedient to Christ our Lord. I just got word a few uh, hours ago that the blessing for St. Blaise cannot happen like it traditionally happens with placing the candles at the throat, but I can still offer the blessing with the candle and praying the prayer for you in church. You know, during COVID time, there's a lot of things that have been adjusted. Also on Ash Wednesday, we're traditionally around the United States uh, and other parts of the world, we bear the ashes on our foreheads well, this Ash Wednesday, it will be sprinkled on the top of your head without any words. So, okay, we think about that and we think of that as being something extreme. But that's how they do it in Rome. It's always been done that way. You bow your head down in humility and it's sprinkled in the words of said. But this year it will be done differently. We're following the liturgical rite of how it was and the old rite without the, putting it on the, head, on the forehead for the feast, the blessing is what counts the prayers. So as we place, I just ask that we can do that blessing right now, and I'll end with the St. Michael prayer. Uh, did, I, did I give you the final blessing yet? I need to remember that. Okay. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from every disease of the throat and from every other illness in the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Almighty God, bless you. all of you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.